Yesterday I was out to breakfast with some friends and I was, I guess, complaining a little bit about a frustrating situation that I was going through. And I went into some pretty good detail because they were asking. And later on uh, in my day, I found myself beating myself up for the words that I said, for complaining about the situation, for sounding negative and just being a downer. And I realized that I was feeling the pressure of being perfect. Do you ever feel that way where you feel like you have to always present the best, always present the happiest times? And that's not reality. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mona Friday. I teach breath work, emotional intelligence, and effective communication. So I'm curious, have you ever felt this way? I'm sure you have. You know, we've got the external pressure and the internal pressure to be perfect. And I know that I create this in myself, usually. That's, that's where I find the most pressure. But there are so many external pressures. You know, we are always pushed to be the best, to be perfect. The pressure of being perfect, it's just, it's so wrong. And, you know, it gets to the point where you feel like you can't be yourself. You can't share what's truly bothering you. And so I think this is how we end up packing stuff down, how we end up getting sick. You know, when we pack our emotions and we don't express how we feel, then that can lead to illness and disease. And it can also lead to fake relationships. If we are in relationships with people where we don't feel like we can be ourselves, where we can express how we truly feel, then maybe there's something wrong with that relationship. And, you know, the the important thing is being authentic, being true to yourself, being true to others is more valuable. Nobody wants to be around a perfect person. It's really difficult to be around perfect people. We see this perfection all over the place. We see it in social media. We see it on TV. We see people out in their lives trying to perform like they're perfect. And it, like I said, perform. I don't want to have to perform. Performing doesn't feel natural. It doesn't feel good. And I think it's so much more important to feel true to yourself and then true to others. And, you know, asking the right questions is really important. Like instances where Maybe somebody is sharing some information with you and you're wondering whether or not to chime in. I do this with, with my daughter. You know, my son and I, we have a different relationship where um, I don't think he's ever really asking me for my opinion. He's just kind of venting. You know, he doesn't really want feedback. But my daughter, she tends to want more feedback. But we clarify it with, are you just venting or do you want my feedback? And either way, it is an opportunity for us to express ourselves fully and also to listen, just practice that active listening skill. And I find that if, if I'm willing to offer this to other people and, and listen to them, then why am I struggling with doing the same for myself? You know, in my conversations with friends yesterday, I wasn't cussing, I wasn't saying really derogatory things. I was just expressing my frustration with the situation and steps that I was taking to change it. You know, I am an action person. I don't like to sit and complain about things over and over again. You know, if I find that I'm doing that where I'm repeating my complaints, then I have a tendency to just kind of sit back, you know, go 
draw inside of myself, you know, like a turtle, go back into my shell and think about ways that I can change my situation so I don't have to complain, so that I can live happier in, in my life. So if you are living a life where you're constant, constantly complaining about something, then I invite you to just go into your shell, quiet yourself, and figure out what can you do to change it. Where are you feeling the pressure to be perfect? Is it an external pressure? Are you around people who are pressuring you to be a perfect version of yourself? Or is it an internal pressure? Do you think that you have to be the best? Do you think you have to perform at a certain level all the time? It's a very good question to ask. And it's so important to take that inventory every so often because you know, we get into a habit of feeling so guilty all the time for having negative feelings. Negative feelings are not always a bad thing. They can be a bad thing if you're dwelling on the negativity, but they can also be a red flag to show that there's a problem somewhere that needs to be fixed. You know, problems problems can change our lives. They can change our lives for the better. They alert us to show us that something is not working in our life. So um, in today's world, there, there is so much external pressure, you know, such as we are pressured by social media and by TV and, and ourselves to look our best, to always present our best attitude, to uh, make the most money, to have the best job, to, to drive the best vehicle and to live in the biggest house and have the best business, the best education. You know, the list goes on and it is so difficult. It feels like life is just one big competition. And that just, it is so overwhelming to feel like this. And it's, it's really overwhelming too because it's constantly in our faces. If we are not regulating our intake of what we watch on TV, how much social media we uh, absorb every single day, then we can bury ourselves in that pressure to be perfect. So what I was practicing yesterday after feeling this, this negativity, this pressure, this, this guilt for having expressed some frustration, I took my quiet time and um, I decided to give myself the gift of grace, the self-grace. And in order to explain it the best way to you today, I looked it up and I wrote it down because I thought it was pretty powerful. So I want to read it to you. The gift of that self-grace. And self-grace is giving yourself permission to forgive your mistakes, your lapses in judgment, and hurtful behavior because we are all human and no one is perfect. So for me, if we're pushing for perfection, we're failing to practice that self-grace. Now I am tired. I am so tired of pushing for perfection. I am tired of not feeling like I have the right to express my true feelings. And that doesn't give me the right though to explode on people. And I encourage you to do the same as what I'm going to do and what I have been doing. You know, it is the practicing of breath work where, you know, I'm just breathing in and out and getting back into my body so I can get out of my head and just feel, feel love. And then I'm practicing my uh, emotional intelligence, my self-awareness, my self-regulation, 
knowing the motivation behind behaviors, having empathy for others, and practicing my social skills, you know, playing well with others. When I do this, then I can behave much better. I'm not blurting out ugly things to people. I'm not doing anything, exercising behaviors that are ugly, but with the self-compassion or the self-grace, I'm saying, telling myself that it is okay if I should happen to slip, if I should happen to have a bad moment where I say a bad word or say something that I regret and then apologize for it. You know, that's some self-regulation there. I made a mistake. Let me apologize. I am truly sorry. And if you can be truly sorry and the other person accepts your apology, then you're growing. And that's the important thing. So um, and by practicing the effective communication, by sharing that you are sorry, by identifying what's going on within yourself, you are growing and failing forward. You're just being human. And being human is why we are here. If you're not learning lessons, if you're not opening open to learning lessons, then why are you here? Are you being self-serving? Are you wanting others to serve you and bow down to you? You know, I would really want you to ask yourself those questions, you know, because I think we all go through stages of development. And so today, I am going to practice that self-grace. I'm going to allow myself to make mistakes and to apologize from, for those mistakes and to grow from those mistakes. And hopefully that helps me appear to be more approachable, more authentic, and more helpful to others because I want others to be able to do the same. I don't want somebody coming up to me all polished every time I have I see them. I don't want anyone to feel like like they aren't good enough as they are. I hope this has been helpful. Until next time, I wish you peace, love, and happiness.